Hi guys, welcome to a video and this video I just wanted to do a review of Elisa and Marcella which is a Netflix film which I watched recently just because I saw lesbians and clicked literally my whole YouTube audience basically. So Elisa and Marcella is a Spanish romantic drama on Netflix. It is based on the real life story of two women who got married in 1901 in Spain because one of them dressed up and pretended to be a man, classic lesbian banter, which obviously made them the first married couple in Spanish history, as far as I'm aware. I actually don't think their marriage was ever annulled either, so what I liked about the film is it brought light to a piece of lesbian history that I'd never even heard about, so I thought that was really great. I was also engaged enough to watch the whole thing through. I have quite a short attention span, so it's a good sign. It has a nice music score, I thought the actors did a good job, and I really liked that they filmed it in black and white. I actually think that was a good choice for the film. I also thought the intimacy was good. I didn't actually question the chemistry. I thought the chemistry was quite natural and I liked it. I know there's some varied opinions on their chemistry out there but I actually thought they looked quite comfortable with the intimacy. Now what I disliked about the film is I did think it was poorly made, especially for something that's for Netflix. I feel like I honestly could have made a film to the same caliber and I have next to nothing in terms of budget so I don't know if they just misused the budget or they just didn't have a good team behind the film sorry they also just made some poor artistic choices like for example there's a love scene and they have like a squid or an octopus in between them and I just that was just I was like what are you trying to do here I just found it a bit crude tasteless and it didn't really fit into the film and I mean that is just my opinion I just I just came a bit out of nowhere if my future wife is watching this I don't want any sea life in the bedroom they belong in the sea not in between us there was also another scene with seaweed and again it's just it was just like what I don't know if this is based on what they got up to in real life I just I'm gonna assume it's not just thought they were trying to be artistic for the sake of it with those two particular things and because it's a shame because other than that I thought the intimacy was was good so yeah I would just say the directing wasn't great which is a shame because a film like this has so much potential and I do think the actors actually did a good job as well. Also when they dressed Elisa up as a man I was just I was laughing. I was like who is gonna buy that? Come on. I'm assuming Elisa in real life was a lot more androgynous because just there's nowhere I just they literally drew a moustache on with a pencil again I don't know if it was budgeting maybe they just didn't have the money for a makeup artist or they didn't have the money for a fake moustache or whatever but the, it was literally a pencil. The film was good it just it wasn't taken seriously by the people who made it. That's how I feel. It's a bit of a shame because the real life story is so profoundly interesting and important so the film could have done real life story more justice. But all in all actually it is worth watching despite my many criticisms of it. If you've seen the film let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe for instant disappointment and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!